Purists absolutely hate the idea of a crossover. The crossover is killing the sedan and the little hatchback, and that's not a good thing. Everyone likes a sleek looking sedan with all of its luxurious features and the presence it has on the road. And we also like these little things, the hatchback, because it's so fun to drive around town and it has a decent amount of power and it's so fun. But the crossover is the impurity in the lineup because it tries to match utilitarian and a small city hatchback into one mixture. And that mixture sometimes becomes heterogeneous. But Ford has come up with a solution to solve these problems. They think that the petrolheads can own a crossover without any regret. Enter the Ford Freestyle. So this is the 1.2 liter 3 cylinder engine of the Ford Freestyle and this engine is from the Dragon engine family which means even if it's 3 cylinders it produces an impressive amount of power and talking about power 95 bhp and 120 newton meters of torque that is a lot for a small car and a small engine So this 1.2 liter engine has a really weird characteristic this engine is like a diesel engine you have all of the torque very down low in the rev range. So the torque hits in, which is 120 Newton meters, it hits in at 2000 RPM. And well, this engine also really doesn't like to rev out, uh, especially being a petrol engine, petrol engines love to rev out. And this engine does not really like to rev out, especially the red line given on the instrument cluster over here, it is 6500 RPM. This car starts to scream at the top of its lungs once you go over 4000. This car is really just a chilled out but a very capable off-roader. And when I talk about off-road, I'm not talking about like Jeep Wrangler stuff. I'm talking about ma mainly like rally cross stuff which happens in Group B, probably something like that. Especially the terrain that I'm driving on right now. This is the best terrain that, this is the terrain that the Ford Freestyle was made for. And I have to say, it really works. The Ford Freestyle is a beefed up, a taller, wider version of the Ford Figo, which means it has a wider track. And you know what a wider track means, right? It means better grip. And better grip means more confidence. More confidence means that you'll go faster off-road. So now that we've had the car for a day, I can give you a better understanding of how this car is in day-to-day -day use. So let's start from the boot. So the boot of the freestyle can be opened by a button inside or you can use the key. You just have to double press this and the boot opens. The boot is actually the smallest in the category. You have a 257 litre boot and the WRV has an insane 383 litres. But I mean like this is good enough. I can basically put anything and everything I want. So the parcel tray in this car is really irritating and it's a huge design flaw in the Figo and the Freestyle and basically if you put it over here like this and you connect the hooks like this most of the time this doesn't work so if you go and put it down like this right now it's working but most of the times the parcel tray doesn't go up see it got unhooked so this is a major problem in this car and this is like an afterthought by Ford. So the Freestyle has this rubber mat inside the boot which is actually really uh, good for you know like sharp objects or if you're digging anything really big that might scratch the car. It has also this cladding over here so that you don't damage the paintwork. And there are a lot of useful hooks around the boot also. So you can basically take your bag and hook it over here like this so that it doesn't move around while driving so the interior is really cool as well because the freestyle has a really quirky and a really interesting interior if you compare it to its korean and japanese counterparts uh, let's start with the infotainment 
the infotainment system is based on the Ford Sync system and the Ford Sync system in the beginning was a really horrible system with a negative one inch screen and a very weird user interface. Now you have a proper touch screen and you have all of the functionality in the world. You can do calls, you can change your tunes, radio, maps, Android Auto compatibility. That is just the so company ke office. That is just the surface of what this system can do. Uh, moving on, the whole interior is really well laid out and for a budget economy car, the whole car does not have a single blank button. All of the uh, buttons have some sort of functionality built into them. You have all of your tuner and radio related controls on top and your AC controls are down here. The AC controls are really easy to uh, use because it's really uh, close to the gear level. So when you're driving you can easily just move them like this. That's it. So the steering wheel of this car is a classic Ford steering wheel if, uh, which you find in their uh, all of their economy cars. And you have some uh, radio volume and voice controls on this side of the steering wheel. I usually prefer the uh, controls to be on the right side because it's easier to use when you're driving because you don't have to move your hand from the gear stick. But that's just nitpicking now. The whole interior is really well laid out again because I can't uh, fathom the fact that it's there is not a single blank button. The seats, the seats have a really interesting design to them because they look like they've been inspired by the Ford GT and that's a really cool thing. Um, you have a lot of cubby holes and a lot of space around the car. You have three bottle holders over here, uh, almost two on each of the doors and you have a small cubby hole to keep your wallet or your phones and everything over there. You have some space over here to keep your key uh, and yeah, it's a really good interior. So let's get into the upshifts and the downshifts of the Ford Freestyle. Starting off, the suspension is really smooth and really comfortable. It really is like a SUV but smaller. The suspension really makes a difference from the normal Figo and this car can go over any bump with ease. It looks really good, really comfortable, great seats, great infotainment. So the mileage of this engine is also really good. You get 15 km on the highway and it's a 42 litre tank which means that you can probably do Mumbai to Pune approximately 3 times in a tank, approximately. Let's get into the downshifts now. And the down, downshifts are really nitpicky because this car isn't that expensive but it's so good that you expect more from it. The interior is really well laid out but the, the, the place where it really lacks is the quality. There is scratchy plastic all over and I would probably go do with some soft touch material and some cloth and leather over here and there. So the Ford Freestyle comes at 8.72 lakhs X showroom in Pune. And for that amount of money, you're getting a lot of kit. And I would say this car is best in class compared to like the Hyundai and the Honda. So if you want a car that's really capable on any terrain, looks really good and has a lot of practical features and a good infotainment, the Freestyle is the best bank for buck car you can buy under 10 lakhs in my opinion. Thank you for watching this video. This car has been given to us by Talera Ford. This is just a shameless plug because they're really good people. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Tell us what you would buy in the segment. The i20 Active, the Honda WRV which is a really bad looking and shitty car. Uh, the Ford Freestyle or should Volkswagen actually revive the Cross Polo? Let us, now, let us know in the comments down below.